guys, it's Ashley. For any of those that are new, welcome to my channel. And if you're not new, thanks for coming back and watching another video. I know it's been a minute. I'm sorry about that. I've been very busy with work and everything. So that's been kind of crazy. But today, I am trying $1 wish makeup. I want to say I ordered this stuff back in January and it showed up in February and I've just been waiting to use it because I've been kind of nervous. I'm not going to lie, but yeah, that is what I'm doing. If it turns out good, I will wear it to work and see how it looks throughout the day. And if it doesn't turn out good, I will wipe it off as soon as possible. And I will let you guys know if I have any reactions to anything if something came and it wasn't right or if something didn't come at all which a couple of things have not come yet so i'm not really expecting them to come at all so let's get started okay just a warning it is early in the morning and i'm getting ready for work so that's why i'm doing this now in case if i want to work to work so i look like a mess I did check my email and so far the things that I saw that are shipped but not here was my lashes, one of my makeup brush sets, and then one order that they're not going to be shipping at all because I guess they didn't have it in stock was one of the makeup palettes. It was just like a little makeup palette that I guess they didn't have in stock so they're not going to be shipping it. So that's fun. But other than that, everything else showed up. So... I'm still nervous. <laughs> but here is the primer. I've never had like a clear looking primer. At first when it showed up, I was like, there's no way this is what I ordered. But it is what I ordered. It looks just like the picture. Ooh, that feels weird. Oh, that feels so weird. Well, my face is going to break out. Oh no, that feels weird. Yeah, my face kind of feels like I just rubbed baby oil on it. And I'm not sure how I feel about that. But it says Sace Lady. I never heard of that brand. And it's supposed to be an all matte primer pore invisible moisturizing smooth there is nothing matte about this and um while it says moisturizing it just feels oily to me so i'm gonna leave that there i did get a beauty sponge this cute little beauty sponge for a dollar so i'm gonna use that to apply my foundation and here is my foundation I don't know how well you can see it. It's a really tiny bottle. Like, here's my hand and here's the bottle. It's Gorgeek. And the front label is a different color. I don't know if it's based on the shades that you get or what. I was not expecting it to be so tiny. I do not know this is my... Ooh. Like, that's thick. Silken Smooth Soft Matte Foundation Liquid Powder Fitness Makeup Long Lasting. Oh, I don't know. Maybe it might be. A, oh, God, it's so thick. This is just messy. And it's not even filled up all the way. It's like halfway. So you have this like little dropper thing and it's not really getting anything. This is off to a great start. I'm feeling really good about this. How about you guys? <laughs> I'm not liking this whatsoever. I don't know if you could see the difference between my face and my neck right now, but this is, I know I'm pale, but I'm not that pale, okay? And that is 
not working. I'm not covering my neck in this stuff. And I try to cover this spot twice. And usually with my NYX Cosmetics Total Control Foundation, I could cover it. But this stuff, it's like... I don't know how to explain it. It's sheer, it's thick, and it goes on in spotchy very spotchy and it just some parts is like very thin it's weird that was definitely a weird um weird feeling so great start this is fun i love this i love doing stuff like this and then we have the fora concealer and I've actually heard a couple of things about this company. I'm surprised that they're on Wish. Um, I've heard a lot of people talk about their foundation and that they actually like their foundation. So I haven't heard much about their concealer, but it's supposed to be a full coverage concealer. And I got the shade beige. At least this one actually has the shade on it. Okay. Okay, it doesn't smell chemically or anything, so that might be a good sign. I am going to be going to work, so I don't want to put a lot of concealer. I'm not saying that I'm actually going to wear this to work, but I am going to act like I'm going to and just... Trust the process. Okay, the concealer is not my shade. It's full coverage. It did help with my dark circles, but it's not my shade so but i'm not gonna go off of that i'm gonna try to cover this spot with maybe some concealer since this seems to be more full coverage than the foundation which not only that usually foundation i get is not like full coverage or cakey but that foundation was not working for me i don't know how well you can see in my camera right now I'm still looking like a mess. It's the morning time. I have not had coffee. I do have my shaver free Red Bull though, so I will be okay for now. This is expired. <laughs> I, I got expired makeup. Are you kidding me? Like, okay, so it has Chinese and then it has American, you know, descriptions on it. And the expiration date for America is January 14th, 2020. And then the expiration date for China is 1-13-2023. What? Like, I'm not even kidding. I, I don't know. Like, you can barely, like, you can read it, but I'm pretty sure it's not going to come off on camera. So, I'm not using this. I'm going to test it on my hand to show you guys. Because, I mean, this already looks kind of iffy. This is supposed to help contour my face. And here is the light side, which is the highlight. Which is, yeah, it could have helped with that foundation. And then here is the dark side, which is, ew. And that feels like really gummy, honestly. Like it feels very oily and gummy. So I'm not using that. And I'm going to throw this away. Leaving that there. Next, I got this La Mila 
face powder. Oh, and it has like a little sponge. Cute. Okay, I don't know how I'm going to feel about this powder. But even if the powder isn't good, I will keep this because that way when I'm doing certain things, I can just really put this on my finger and kind of like do different things with it. Kind of pressing on, probably with my thumb, honestly. Like if I'm doing details and I'm patting my face, that would be helpful. But I will try the powder and see how it works. I am looking horrible right now. Which at the time I don't use powder, but my face is very oily right now. Okay, my face went from being oily to super dry and flaky. And I've never had a powder work like that before. So I'm keeping this. I'm going to clean this and use this. So whenever I do my makeup on my face, I'm not touching it. We'll stick to my Laura Mercier. And that is that. So I don't know. Maybe I'll try that later on when I do like a face paint or something. But it's made my face extremely flaky. And I'm not, I mean, I will give it the benefit of the doubt. It did matte my face up. Okay, after that, I got this, what is it? Cosmetics C-Madu, C-M-A-A-D-U. If you know this brand, please correct me. But it's the Aurora Highlight Palette. But, I mean, it's a dollar, so I guess you can't really hate what you pay for. So, that is not highlight. There's, oh, I guess, like, when you, all right. Okay, I like this one better. It's, like, an iridescent color. I like the little pigment of, like, purple blue. I like that. Then this is like a golden. Then we got pink. Then we got like this bluish purple one in the middle. Ooh, that would be pretty as an eyeshadow actually. Like a shimmer to go over a blue. That, um, not big for like pink pink. Like, I use, like, mainly use the Princess Cut by Jeffree Star Cosmetics. And it has, like, a little bit of pink, but not too much. Mm, not bad. And then they also have an iridescent one with more pink in it. So, I don't know which one I'm going to use, but this is the makeup brush set that I did get. So, instead of using my brushes, I'm just going to attempt to use these and see how they work because I paid a dollar for them. So, I might as well use all the ones that I can. And probably like these fine ones, if they are not good for makeup, I will probably use and apply like FX like makeup. Then I got that, got that. 
So I'm probably going to use this and just see how it goes. Probably going to use the iridescent like pink one. Okay, you can see something there. That's not bad. I will play more with this later on, so I'm not gonna throw this one away. Okay, the one eyeshadow I did get is by Keybist. I'm sorry if I'm saying these wrong. Please correct me if I am and if you use these, but it's Keybist. So, and the shade that I got is CO3. It's U. Wait, why the box say it's a fancy unicolor eyeshadow? This was supposed to be the blush that I got. On Wish, it said it with a blush. Oh my god. This smells like the blush you would get as a kid from one of the blush kits. Oh my god. I don't even care no more. I just want this to be over with, honestly. Yeah, this definitely looks and feels and smells like the blush that you get as a kid in your little, like, makeup kits so i'm not going to use that again i'm going to stick to my bh cosmetics truffle blush because while it is pigmented it smells weird it's very pigmented it's not really my blush shade so i don't really know what this is saving no more like if i could save it i don't think i can save it this is um well Pretty much what you would expect to pay a dollar for, so. So that being said, the only eyeshadow that did come in was this shimmer eyeshadow by the same brand that I got the blush, which is Kibis, again. I'm actually going to take that blush color that said it was an eyeshadow on the box, but said it was blush online. Makes no sense. I'm not going to question it. I'm just going to put some with this little pecker little brush that came in my set for a dollar. I'm just gonna take I mean the bottle's cute. It doesn't smell weird and it's shimmery so and it doesn't feel weird on the back of my hand so I guess I will go ahead and apply this on my eyelid It doesn't feel weird. It is cute. And it is taking off the blush, eyeshadow, whatever it is. Yeah, I feel like I am refining myself in middle school when I first learned how to put makeup on. I mean, it's kind of cute. It's not the worst. I've probably tried worse. Okay, this looks just like the picture on Wish. It's Vibly Express Control, and it's a mascara. Probably can't read it, but the bottle's cute. Does it feel... Ooh. <laughs> I was going to say, does it feel too cheap? Ooh. And then you pull it out, and there's like this string of mascara. This is the brush. I'm going to try it on the back of my hand to make sure, like... It doesn't feel weird. 
I just got to do it. If you're trying things that come from different countries and they're $1, you should probably try it on your skin to make sure you don't have an allergic reaction to it. I'm going to let that sit for a little bit and see if I have an allergic reaction to it. It might look kind of cute on camera, but off camera, it's patchy. It's flaky. It's not my color. My cheeks look like they've been punched. And my eyes look like I was playing with some kids makeup. So. And I'm going to put on my bottom lash line. I do not like this whatsoever. Then I got this Lamila Waterproof Long Lasting Eyeliner. I'm just, I'm not going to try to do a wing with it because I don't know. Oof. Just, I'm ready for this to be over. <laughs> but I will try it. Okay, my other side is done. The one thing I have noticed is some parts you do have to layer the eyeliner more than once because it's kind of thin. But, I mean, overall, the eyeliner isn't bad. It's workable. I think it's doable for a dollar. I think it is definitely doable. Okay, and then I got this Davis Waterproof Protection Lip and Liner Pencil. It's in black, so I guess if you're doing a black lip, it might work. Okay, it glides on pretty easily. Like, like that's not bad. It glides on pretty easily it's like a cream liner rather than your normal like stick liner i'm not gonna go all the way because if you did not see my high school makeup i used to go all the way and it just made my eyes look so tiny the eyeliner and the liquid eyeliner is not that bad i could work with that i did get this lip color by the same company that the hat made the highlight the c-m-a-a-d-u long lasting waterproof lip gloss it didn't say it was a lip gloss but Okay, one, the packaging on this with the sugar skull, like Day of the Dead look, so cute. I like this. I don't know why it says waterproof lip gloss. It's drying like a matted liquid lip, and the color's really, like, really pretty. It, it actually doesn't smell bad. It smells good, and it's drying, and it's not overwhelmingly drying. I don't, this is a dollar. I really like this. This is my favorite product that I put on me out of everything. And it's the same company that made the highlighter. So these will be two products that I'm definitely going to keep. I will definitely use this again. What I will be keeping is the liquid liner. I will keep that in case I run out of any of my other eyeliner. I will be keeping the pencil liner because it's very creamy and very pigmented so I would use this especially if I'm creating any creative like makeup looks. I'm definitely keeping this. This color is really pretty. I like the way it feels. It's really light. It doesn't feel gummy or anything. Dry is matted. I don't know. That's the only thing that gets like throws me off. It says waterproof lip gloss. It's not a lip gloss. It's a liquid lip. 
and then I will play with this. I will probably repack it into another container or something because this is very flimsy, but I would like to try some more of the highlighters, even though they could pull off as shimmers for eyeshadow. And then I'm going to keep this liquid shimmer shadow just because um, it might look cute on something else and might not take it off. So out of everything, I'm going to keep five things. Um, definitely going to throw away the primer and the foundation. Never again. Um, the concealer wasn't bad, but it's not my color, so I'm probably going to get rid of that. And um, yeah, these are the ones I'm keeping. The rest I'm going to throw away. But, I mean, for a dollar, what can you expect? It's not the worst thing that I put on my face, and I barely spent any money. This is it. I'm going to go get ready for work now. I'm going to take this off, redo my makeup, make some coffee, and get my day started and forget I even did this. Except for the fact that it's on YouTube, so kind of can't. But I will try. Let me know if you guys want me to try anything else by clothes from Wish, buy clothes from Amazon, wigs from Amazon, different things that you would like me to try for you guys and show you how it works and what I think about it. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and if you haven't yet, go ahead and subscribe to my channel because there will be another video here next Friday at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So, sorry it's been a minute, you guys. Sorry I talked too much. And, um... Sorry if you don't like this video, but I thought I would give it a try, something different with makeup, and I hope y'all liked it. So, I will see y'all in the next video. Bye!